let's take a minute to look at the card hop preferences. You can activate the preferences by going to card hop, hitting the gear icon, and then tapping on preferences, or hitting the keyboard combination, command, comma. Here are the card hop preferences. First, you can check to automatically load the application at login. You're going to want that because card hop is really useful. You can also hide the application in the menu bar if you want, or you can also hide the application in the dock. If you're using multiple accounts and you want to always show the account on the contact cards, you can do that by checking this box. Card hop also has a light theme. I'll check that and activate card hop with control option D. And you can see there's the light theme. Card hop has a series of delightful user interface sounds. If you like them, keep that checked on. You can also adjust the text size if you want the text smaller or larger. I'll go ahead and make it larger so you can see what that looks like. And you can also set how the names are sorted and displayed. I have set the default account for iCloud, but CardHop works with other services as well. And you can also set the default Twitter application between macOS, Twitter, and Tweetbot, and the Maps application between Apple Maps and Google Maps. And finally is that keyboard shortcut. To really get the most out of CardHop, you need to get that keyboard shortcut down. If you don't like the default, control option D, you can change it to whatever you like. The next preferences menu are the actions menu. And I cover this in the quick action screencast separately, but you can have the ability to turn quick actions on or off, both on the contact list and on the contact cards. And by holding down the control key, you can change those default uh, quick actions. If you want to reset everything to the default, press that button and it'll reset the quick actions for you. And you can also set how CardHop makes calls for you. Also, there's an update button to keep CardHop up to date. And finally, let's take a look at the settings under the gear icon in the application itself. First, you can detach the application from the menu bar. I'll go ahead and do that and you can see I can drag it around. If I want to put it back on, I can go back to attach it to the menu bar and it goes right back. Next, I can have it keep card hop in front of additional content that may be behind it. This is helpful when looking up phone numbers while you've got additional windows open on your screen. You can create new groups and new cards, both from this menu. You can also import and export V cards, and I shared that in an earlier screencast. You can also share cards. I'll go ahead and select this card and then hit the gear icon. And you can see all the different ways that I could share the card. This menu also has several options for viewing the cards and keyboard shortcuts listed. So if I want to make text bigger, I could click on this or I could hit command plus or command minus to make it smaller. Next on the list, this menu gives me several options for working with cards themselves and it can get me to the preferences. Or I could hit command comma to get there with the keyboard shortcut. Finally, there's information about card hop and how to get help. If you need to quit the application, you can do it there too. So there you have it, a quick overview of the preferences for card hop.